Yo, what's up, people? Welcome back to the channel where we mix facts, logic, and a little bit of roasting to keep things real. If you're ready for some straight talk with a side of humor, you're in the right place. So, buckle up, smash that like button, and let's dive into this madness. Trust me, you're not gonna want to miss this one. Here's the foolproof way to DM slide if you're looking to get a first date. No hey, no hey how are you doing, no hey you're hot, no fire emoji. You're just going to choose a story to reply to strategically. It's going to be something that A, you may have in common, B, starts a conversation, and C, leads into a first date. Here's an example. She posts a story of food on her Instagram, she's out to eat. You reply, hey, that looks really good. Where is that? I'd love to go there. I've actually been thinking about trying this place. Would you want to come sometime? She posts a book. If you're into reading, this is important, it has to be authentic. You say, hey, what book are you reading? I'm looking for a new book to read. I'm actually going to the bookstore on Tuesday. Do you want to tag along? Don't reply to her selfies or her pictures with her and her friends. It's overdone and everybody does it and you just won't send out. Reply to the things that make her her with things that make you you. Establishing an emotional connection. Creating a conversation. Setting up your first date before she even realizes. So, you want to slide into those DMs without sounding like every other thirsty dude out there. Huh? Forget the basic hey or your hot crap. We're talking strategy here. She posts a pic of food. Don't just drool over it. Say something like, damn, that looks delicious. Where's that at? I've been wanting to try it out. How about we check it out together sometime? Bam, you're setting up a date without sounding like you're planning a stakeout. She's into books. Perfect. Hey, what book are you reading? I need a new read myself. Thinking of hitting up the bookstore. Wanna join? Smooth, right? None of that hey beautiful nonsense. And for the love of all that's holy, don't comment on selfies or group pics. Everyone does that. Stand out by focusing on what makes her unique and tying it into your own interests. That's how you build a connection and line up that first date. Keep it real. Keep it engaging. And for the sake of your dating life, keep it away from cheesy pickup lines. Cheers. Question for all of the single girls out there. Why is it that women are attracted to like doctors and lawyers? I mean, let's be honest, they're never around. It's 2022. We need to be strategic. I'm thinking Uber drivers, parking inspectors that can cancel our parking fines, personal trainers, that's expensive. Am I right? Oh, I get it. You're aiming for strategic dating, but Uber drivers? Really? So what's the plan here? Free rides and awkward convos while he dodges traffic? I mean, at least with a lawyer. He's not just good at getting you off. Fines. I mean, and a parking inspector? Girl, that's a man whose main skill is putting people in bad moods all day long. Doctors and lawyers may be busy, sure, but they're out there saving lives and stacking cash. So unless you're planning on getting free parking for life, maybe aim a little higher than the dude who cancels your parking tickets. Come on, fishy, come on, fishy, come on, fishy, come on, fishy. This chicken. Hey. Oh, so you're out here trying to catch a boyfriend like it's Pokemon Go. Huh? Do I want to be in a relationship? Absolutely not. We exist. So, you want a boyfriend without the relationship? That's classic. Wanting all the perks without any of the responsibility. It's like expecting a guy to put in all the work, time, and resources for, what, a good time until you get bored? You want the validation, the attention, maybe a little fun. But when it's time for anything real, you're out faster than a bad Tinder date. It's like expecting a guy to build the house, but telling him, hey, I'm just here for the view. You want to keep your options open. Fine, but don't be surprised when dudes stop investing in you because they know there's no long-term return on investment. I want to know, if I showed up to our date wearing this, what would you do? What would you do? Oh, if you showed up to the date looking like that, easy you first. I'd check if we accidentally booked a table at Hooters. Then, I'd sit down, enjoy the view, and wonder how many dudes already tried to pay your rent before the appetizers showed up. Look. If you're dressing like you're auditioning for the next rap video, don't be surprised when you attract guys who are just there for the scenery. Want to be treated like a queen? Dress like you didn't get lost on the way to the club. Guys, let me give you advice. Being a woman has never been cheap. So next time you invite a woman to come on a date with you, the bare minimum you can do is buy her a plate of the food and a drink. If you don't do that, please don't waste our time. 
uh, and your time um, to invite us anywhere. I'll tell you why. Being a woman on average in Canada, in Alberta, costs about $800 per month. Um, this is the statistic. This is the truth. Did you know that getting our hair done costs about $300 to $350 a month on average? Did you know that getting the nails done costs about $140 a month? Did you know that facial cost about $100 a month? Did you know the pedicure cost about $50 a month? And did you know that it costs a lot to be us? Therefore, next time you invite us to the date, think about how you're going to treat us. Think about who you want to have next to you. You might say, well, but this is not what I need the woman to do. This is not what I ask her to look like. Yes, but you actually want us. The reason why you're inviting us and not another girl out on a date is because you like the way we look. You like the way we are seen with you by your, your side. So if you want us, those queens, to be standing as a queen next to your side, you better behave as a kink. Cheers. Oh, so you're saying it costs $800 a month just to be a woman? Interesting. So, let me get this straight. You're dropping hundreds on hair, nails, and facials, and the bare minimum I gotta do is buy you dinner? Seems like you're not budgeting for reality, just for attention. And let's be real here, you're spending $300 on your hair, but I'm supposed to foot the bill because you want to look like an Instagram filter in public? If it's that expensive to be you, maybe start investing in priorities, not pedicures. You want a king to treat you like a queen? Well, kings don't chase, they choose. So. If you're coming with that price tag, make sure what's inside matches the packaging. Cheers. Want to know how women fantasize? Pick up a romance novel at your local bookstore and learn how to get inside her head the way that she wants you to. Ah, uh, so you think picking up a romance novel is going to teach you how to get inside her head? Bro, that's like reading Harry Potter and thinking you can cast spells. Romance novels are like the adult version of fairy tales, except instead of a prince. It's a dude with abs sculpted by Michelangelo who never has to work and somehow has infinite time to whisper sweet nothings. If you're looking to understand how women fantasize, sure, read that novel, but just know that her real life expectations might be slightly lower than Fabio on a horse. And if you think buying her a book gets you into her head, well, you're probably still reading the wrong chapters, my guy. So this is so embarrassing. So I took my car in to get a service and um, I picked the car up just then and I just realized, look what is sitting on the seat, the passenger seat. My freaking j Oh, let me get this straight. You took an embarrassing moment between you and your mechanic and thought, you know what? The world needs to hear this. I mean, sure. Why keep your dignity when you can post it online for likes and comments, right? It's like falling on your face in public and then asking the crowd to rate your landing. I don't even need to check if you've got an OnlyFans. Because with this level of oversharing, you're already halfway there. Fishing for attention? Honey, you're casting that line like it's the freaking Olympics. I hope you're delusional in the person that you manifest as- Yeah! This is so important, so listen. People will tell you not to make lists. Don't listen to them. Make the list. With every nitty-gritty detail that you want. What they do, how they act, their morals, their job. And do not leave out physical appearance. You deserve to be with somebody you're attracted to. Treat the universe like a Make-A-Wish Foundation. And the first thing that will happen is all the men that don't qualify will literally disappear from your life. The people that hit about 75% or more are going to be the only ones you're like a vibrational match with. But don't make the mistake of settling for 80% or 85 or even 90 100 percenter is out there he is so out there and i've manifested him at least three or four times and then i realized i left out something really important but i digress the point of this video is to tell you you can have everything you want so don't settle all right so let me get this straight you're out here manifesting a 100 percent perfect man like he's some mythical creature girl you're treating this like pokemon gotta catch him all but with dudes reality check you can't just swipe right on a billionaire Calvin Klein model who rescues puppies for fun. You might need to manifest a mirror instead. And hey, 
if you're finding a guy who checks 75% of your boxes and still tossing him back. At this rate, you'll manifest yourself into a cat mom faster than you can say. Where did all the good men go? Keep shooting for that 100%. Though, maybe the universe will throw in a side of patience while you wait for Mr. Perfect to roll off the assembly line again. Guys have to go in to their doctor monthly to get their foreskin trimmed, just like a monthly haircut. And frankly, I'm pretty outraged at the American school system. Like, these are the things that kids need to be learning. Do better. Wait, hold up. Monthly foreskin trims? Bro, that's not a thing. If it was, we'd have a foreskin barbershop on every corner next to Starbucks. Whoever told you that is trolling harder than your Wi-Fi connection during a Fortnite match? As for the American school system, yeah, they definitely could use some improvements. But I don't think foreskin maintenance needs to be on the curriculum. Just imagine the sex ed class. All right, kids. Today we're covering algebra. Then a quick demo on proper foreskin trimming. Pretty sure that it traumatized half the class and confused the other half. And that's a wrap. Folks, if you enjoyed the roast, make sure to hit that like button, smash subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next dose of reality. Now, here's the question of the day. What's the wildest myth you've heard that people actually believe? Drop your answer in the comments below, unless it's about foreskin trims. We're good on that. Stay sharp, stay savage, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.